This is the party. Come on. Greetings, tribe, and welcome to Snacking with Ortega. I am your host of Extraordinary Magnitude. Ortega Latrobe, and today I'm making tortilla pizza. Now, when I first started making these, it was because I always had tortillas. I always had some cheese and always had some diced tomatoes or tomato sauce in the pantry. Always have some kind of meat of some sort in the fridge, whether it's, uh, you know, ham, turkey, roast beef, something for sandwiches, uh, leftover steak, pork chops, chicken, something like that, whatever. There's always some leftover proteins or some type of proteins at least floating around in the fridge. Also, it's pizza. Put fucking vegetables on it. I'm not opposed to that. I will say if you're going to put vegetables on it, and they're gonna be fresh, make sure to cut them up in very small pieces because they cook pretty quick and you wanna make sure that those vegetables get cooked through. Generally when I make these, I make two at a time. I'm not over full, but I'm satisfied. Satisfied. Real quick, I'm gonna whip up our pizza sauce. I've got an eight ounce can of tomato sauce here, and to it, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of olive oil, one teaspoon of basil. Stir well. Now this sauce is going to be a little bit on the sweet side. If you want to kick it up a little bit, add some crushed red pepper or some black pepper. Now that the sauce is ready, it's time to start building our little pizzas. I'm going to preheat my oven to 425. Take two of our tortillas, throw them on this baking rack. Take our sauce and lay down a nice thin layer. That's just about perfect. I basically only have soup spoons at my house. I think they're perfect for about everything. Cereal, soup, saucing, gravy. I had three soup spoons of sauce here and that was about the perfect amount. So we should stick with that ratio for this. I can get my sauce all the way close to the edge as possible. I'm gonna take and put a light layer of cheese down first. Then my toppings and a little bit more cheese on after that. You don't want to over cheese these because they're really, really thin because they're tortillas and not crust, obviously. And you want them to be able to cook up. And if there's too much moisture from the cheese in the sauce, there, they just would be soggy and they'll suck. Oh, it's a suck pizza. Suck pizza sucks. <laughs> so I'm gonna make pepperoni and banana pepper on this guy. I do like to make my pizzas look pretty. That's coriander, he'll tell you. It used to take me fucking forever to make pizzas. Forbidden plan is us decorating it. Banana pepper pepperoni. So why not over here? Because if I go to a pizza joint and I know they have shrimp, I will always get a Canadian bacon and shrimp. Because that's like one of my favorite combo. So we're gonna get as close as we can here. It's just a light crab in Canadian bacon. And you can always eat your leftover toppings or make another one. Whatever. These two are probably going to be good for me. Another layer of cheese on top of the toppings. As soon as our oven's up to temp, we'll slide those in. Let them go about 7-10 minutes till the outside gets nice and crispy. The cheese gets nice and melty. Oven's ready. Let's get these guys in the sauna. Pizza's finished, let's pull it out and take a look. Tortilla effing pizza. It's gonna hit them each with a little crushed red pepper and a little Italian seasoning. And these are tortilla pizzas. I'm gonna go get them in my head. Pizza time. It's pizza time. Tortilla pizza time. Real good pizza time. We're gonna have Canadian bacon like crab first. This is nothing fancy, nothing spectacular, but it's on point, it's tasty. You get nice salty from the Canadian bacon, counteracts the sweet of the sauce. The basil's nice in there. As we've gone over, I love me some fake crab. Like crab. Imitation crab. Shreemy. See what they got on the other side of the street.
Pepperoni banana get her. Pepperoni and banana pepper go together so well, and they really do complement each other. This is a good spicy contrast to the mellowness of this. You can make one of these, two of these, 20 of these. You can use them for hors d'oeuvres. You can use them for snacks. You can use them for appetizers. You can use late night munchies. You can use them for whole meals. It's a very versatile, easy to put together, tasty little treat. For one or for several, you choose. And remember how topping it, it's your food, it's your mouth, do it how you want to. Thanks for stopping by the Hacienda. Please check out our Patreon. Please check out our merch on Teespring. Please click the link, subscribe, join the tribe. I'm Ortega Latrobe, and you've been snacking with Ortega. Well, yeah, fuck you too. Bye-bye.